the audience, white orchids are now popular with many people. The growing and trading of white orchids is increasingly bustling, making a lot of profits for orchid fanciers. Tang Hai Kamil of Tang Chau District is home to the largest area of white orchids. Nearly 100 households growing and trading orchids have established associations to produce orchids and ornamental flowers. These groups have been operating effectively. Most of its members have a high stable income and have the need to expand the scale of production and business. In today's program, we would like to introduce the reported title, Efficiency from the Motto of Lenting Orchid and Ornamental Flower Association Group. In recent years, orchids are highly appreciated by artisans and ornamental plant fanciers. Because this kind of plant has many advantages, many varieties, being easy to take care of. Flowers are colorful and very long-lasting. Those that grow and have evolved naturally, also known as white orchids, become increasingly rare. Many farms specializing in planting and taming of them white orchids have been established and make a lot of profit. Tang Hai Commune of Tang Chau District is currently the largest white orchid growing area in Tanning province with a total area of nearly 20 hectares. Most household growing and trading white orchids have a high stable income. Facing the trend of planting Hung Thuong white orchids, since 2017, Mr. Trang Đức Minh, living in Tân Trung Hamlet, Tân Hà Camus, has also grown this kind of plant. At first, he only cultivated on a small scale. After some harvest, traders came to buy flowers right at the garden. Making a good profit, he expanded the orchid garden to 4,000 square meters. He is nurturing more than 20,000 orchids that are about to be brought to the market. He said that the initial investment cost of planting white orchids was relatively high, with an average of over 700 million Vietnam dong for 1,000 square meters. However, after only two years, the profit active is at least 50% of the initial investment capital. Growing orchids gives me a stable income. Meet the man by orchids right at my garden. It was a bit extreme at first. The seedlings are still wilted, so they need to be watered regularly. When the tree grows up, if it's in the rainy season, it often causes plant roots to rot. So paying attention to those stages. Here we only plant one at a time. When all flowers are sunned out, we will plant new ones. That way it will be later. In the same locality, Mr. Le Wokan also owns more than 45,000 14 month old white orchid stems that are about to be brought to the market. Coming from a farming family in the southwest region with unstable income, he has also been interested in white orchids for a long time. By 2016, he came to Tang Ha Kimu of Tang Chau District to set up an orchid farm. At first, it was very hard. He only had the capital of only a few tens of millions of Vietnam dong. The garden just covered an area of 1,000 square meters. Thanks to passion and careful care, his orchid garden grows really well, experiencing many crops when there wasn't enough goods to supply to meet demand. The orchid garden is also quite profitable, so he continues to expand the scale. Up to now, his farming and business of white orchids has become very sustainable. According to Mr. Gunn, this kind of white orchid derives from natural forests, so after planting for about one year, they will automatically flower on the occasion of the Lunar New Year without having to stimulate flowering like others. But the high value of white orchids lies in the fact that its flowers can last so long, their colors and scents are more special than that of all the orchids. The older the white orchids is, the bigger the flowers will be, the longer the stalk will be, the more beautiful it is, and the longer it will last. Initially, I only had a capital of 28 million Vietnam dong. 
the Orchid Garden area was just over 100 square meters. Up to now, the cultivation area has grown to 3,000 square meters, including two gardens. One last garden consists of 15,000 orchid spies with 45,000 rows and one small garden with 30,000 rows. The characteristic of this white orchid is that the flowers are very fragrant and colorful. At least if you spend a portion of the capital, you will get half the profit. And if the price is high, the profit will be more than half. Before starting to plant, we need to treat the roots neatly, soak it into antiseptic, and dry it for three days, growing them on the medium mat from the milkweed trees, the time of white milkweed. Orchid growers need to pay attention at the beginning of the raining season most. At this time, the roots are easily infected with nematodes and rotten, etc. The farmer support fund lent me some capital to further invest in the garden. Later this year, maybe I will expand my garden after selling all the existing orchids. Mr. Gunn added that it's not too difficult to plant and take care of wild orchids. But might is the decisive factor for success. It's necessary to pay attention to humidity. In the rainy season, it can be watered twice a day. During the rainy season, the amount of irrigation water must depend on the medium. If it's too humid, we may not water for two consecutive days. But if it's dry, we can only water it once in the morning. During the process of taking care of plants, it's necessary to pay attention to clean the orchid roots to be beautiful. The leaves must be lush, if so, the orchid plant will be more valuable. Every harvest, meet the man by own the orchids right at the garden. And he only grows new plants when the orchids are sown and leaves pay for the garden. According to the current trends, Along with the additional support of reference to capital of the Farmers' Union, the Bank for Social Policies, Mr. Gunn will expand the scale of orchid growing in the next group. In October 2019, Tang Ha Commune Production and Business Cooperative Group of Orchid and Ornamental Flowers was established. In the early days, the cooperative group had seven members of typical orchid garden owners. The production and business situation of the group is very effective. Up to now, the locality has had 9 groups of 99 members. Apart from two shots of capital support from the Bank for Social Policies and the Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, the groups have also built projects to plant and take care of orchids, so that 11 members could access to a capital of 300 million Vietnam dong from the Farmers Support Fund, help them have more conditions to upgrade net system for the garden and to install irrigation system for orchids. This is also one of the new models in Tang Ha Commune. The local authorities have created conditions for farmers to create jobs and for the orchid growers to earn money, as well as for farmers to develop a household economy. Implementing the resolution number no. 4 of the Party Central Committee on promoting the building of professional branches and associations, the district and communal farmers' unions have mobilized orchid growers to establish a professional association for orchids. Over the last time, the District Farmers Union has given priority to 11 households of the Orchid Growers Group to access a loan of 300 million Vietnam dong from the Farmers Support Fund. To expand this model, in the coming time, the district will coordinate with the Camille Farmers Union and functional branches to create conditions for orchid growers to have access to new science and technology to care for orchids. As the director of the Farmers Support Fund, I propose to the Provincial Farmers Union to consider and give priority to orchid growing households. Joining the Orchid and Ornamental Flower Cooperative Group, members can share experiences, exchange secrets with each other to improve orchid farming skills and create high-quality products to meet the increasing demands of customers. In recent years, 
the Farmers Union of Tung Ha Kim Yu Tung Chau District has mobilized many orchid farmers to join cooperative groups in addition to being facilitated in assessing concessional loans. Members are also trained and transfer new techniques on the process of planting and caring for orchids and ornamental flowers. Currently, Ngoc Điểm Quay orchids originating from Tân Hạ Commune of Tân Châu District are available in many provinces and cities nationwide. So, the organization of production linkages is inevitable. Helping production links, there will be mutual support, protecting each other's interests to ensure a sufficient and stable supply of goods for the market, aiming for establishing the outbrand. The audience, the program today now comes to an end. Thanks for watching and see you next time.